Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. So, what are we doing? <laughs> so this is literally gonna be like a chit chat. Nothing to get ready for. Like I'm literally just at my house. So it's just for fun. Wow. You know what? I'm not even gonna intro this because it's kind of like a little impromptu video, if you would say. I kind of wanted to just film a video. I don't know what I'm doing. There's no rhyme or reason for this video. Um, hopefully it comes out good. So if you see it, then you know I made a decent edit. I have notes. But I, I literally had to put notes in my phone because if not, I would forget. Because I have like ideas of what to talk about. But then like when I'm in front of the camera, I just... Whoo, it just all goes away because being back on camera kind of makes me a little nervous. So I have notes. So the videos that I mentioned in the last video that I want to work on. I'm not going to be able to start filming them until like after Thanksgiving. Um, oh, which Thanksgiving is this week. So happy early Thanksgiving or whenever, or happy Thanksgiving whenever you're watching this. Um, but yeah, so this week has just been crazy. Getting ready, um, making pasteles. If you know, if you're in a Hispanic household, you know the drill every single year. It's a factory of pasteles in my house right now. Like the basement is just filled with platanos, not platanos, guineos and ma masa and all that it smells great <laughs> so yeah it's been crazy um and i just really need to in those videos i really want to get them i really want them to come out well um so i just need it to, everything to just be a little bit calmed down so i'm hoping that after thanksgiving i'll be able to like get something get them done um because i do want to put them out <sighs> Hopefully before Christmas. I don't know. I'm not even going to put this in the video because I don't even know. I do want to get those done, but I'd rather just wait instead of jumping right into it. Because that's what I tried to do before, and they, I didn't like how they came out. And I like things to be... I know nothing's perfect, but I like things to try and be perfect. I have filmed videos, but because I don't like how they've come out, I just haven't posted them. It was 50-50 with the last video. I was like this close to just deleting the upload. Maybe because I just haven't been used to being back on camera in a long time. But I did like how it ended up coming out and... Um... Yeah. <laughs> I didn't delete it. I thought about getting rid of it, but at the end of the day... It is what it is, you know? I gotta pick it up again. <laughs> you gotta pick it up sometime. So even if it wasn't my best, which I know it wasn't, um, I gotta just push through. I have plans to go anywhere. I'm just doing this for fun. I did enjoy filming again and editing. I love editing. My gosh. I could sit there for hours and just edit a video. That's what I wish I could do. People I've met who do videos, they always say that they don't like the editing process. I love it. I could just sit there and edit for hours. Even if I get tired, I can't stop because A, I wanna finish, and then B, I'll like find something that like I, I just love about the video and I'll keep working on it. If I could just edit, I would. I do want to learn more though, just because I, I'm not the best, like I'm not good at like creating graphics or anything. Um, what I put is literally just like just the simplest things, but I would enjoy to learn more and how to do more things. Yeah, I did not expect the last video to actually be almost 40 minutes long. I am so sorry. What else can I talk about that's not the last video? Oh. So if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you should. So I did a, a photo shoot with my friend Nathan last week. And honestly, the pictures came out really, really good. Um, not surprised because Nathan is just so great at photography. Like, I can take good pictures, but he can just take a picture and make it look like it belongs, I don't know, like in the New York Times or something. I was just so nervous about getting back on camera. I don't think I... I feel like I could have done better. I was trying to like make get myself like comfortable to be back on camera, which is one of the reasons why I think I didn't like the last video that much because I feel like I wasn't as enthusiastic. Not that I should have been, but I feel like I wasn't I wasn't in it because I was uncomfortable, but I don't know. I feel like I'm getting better. I don't know, we'll see. But either way, it was just fun. I always enjoy hanging out with Nathan. Um, he's just so good at his job. He's really, really good at his job. He knows exactly what he wants and he knows how to take it. I appreciate that he looks for... He likes to take photos uh, expressing emotion. And he... I feel like he has a really unique way of bringing it out of people. And has a really, really cool way of like 
portraying that through the lens. So yeah, that's just my little tangent on Nathan's photography business, but if you want to see the photos, go follow me on Instagram and you'll see them. And also go follow Nathan. I might post one on the fo on the screen just for like a little sneak peek, but we'll see. Last video, photo shoot. Um, what else? I really haven't done much. I'm going to leave all the products. <laughs> it's funny because I was talking to my friend. Um, the same one who really wanted me to do last video. I was talking to her. She was like, I'm so happy you put the products on the screen. Because she was like, because I hate scrolling down in the description and looking for it. And... And I said, you're very welcome, but I'm not doing that again. So you could go down in the description and see what products I used. If I remember to put them in. I did my brows off camera just because that's just... That's really boring to see on videos. But now I'm really gonna start rambling. So for 2023, I had a goal, right? I had a goal of reading 100 books this year. My goal for 2024 is now to read 100 books. I don't know how many books I read. Not many. Did Nowhere close to my goal. Things happen. Crises has happened. Quarter life crisis has happened. Crises? Crisis isn't a word. I don't like how that's blending out. That's a lot darker than what I thought. But you know, we're gonna push through. We're gonna push through. I love reading. I love books. I'm pretty sure I have bought more books than I have read. But you know, I'm reading them. I'm getting through them. It's all good. Now, I am someone who, when I read a book, I don't like to give up on a book. For me, it's really important to like get through a book because there has to be something. It has to be really bad for me to give up on a book. And I there was one that I gave up on. Okay, I'm not even going to mention it because I don't want you to read it. Okay, it was dumb. It, it wasn't a good book. But this one book that I read, y'all, I really thought it was going to be overhyped. Because it was all over social media. I kept seeing it. The first chapter I read. And I did not like it. And I was convinced that it was going to be an overhyped book. Because I just, I didn't, I wasn't seeing the appeal of the book. But like I said, I also don't like to give up on books. And then, it got me. And it got me good. I don't think I've ever been more... How do I say this correctly? Not that I don't get impressed by books, but it's really hard for me to... Maybe just because I haven't read in a while, but I feel like it's really... Like, a book has to be very good for me to call it, like, my favorite or be in my top favorites. Because some books are really good, but for me, I'm just like, oh, it was a really good book, but it didn't, like, stick with me. So that's just how I feel. Like, I feel like a book really has to leave an imprint on me. Like, I can't, like, I can't stop thinking about this book. That might be an exaggeration, okay? I just really like that book. I don't, did I say that? No, I haven't said the name. So the book is A Little Life, and... Mm, they're not joking around. <laughs> is it the saddest book I've ever read? Yes. But it is also the most beautifully written book that I have picked up in a long time. And I'm convincing my friend to read it. She probably, I don't know if she will. I hope she will. But I told her, I was like, just be prepared to be scarred because that's exactly what happens with this book. You will be left scarred, like permanently. And again, that may be an exaggeration. But I don't care because this book was really, really good. I think it was the first time I read a book and like my mouth hung open every single chapter. I won't talk about the context of the book because it is very strong in um, subject matter and everything. Be aware, be cautious if you are thinking about reading it. But it was a good book. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm ever going to read a book like that again because I don't think a book will ever exist like that again. I'm sure my friend is sick and tired. She's probably gonna skip this part of the video, I don't know. I'm sure she's sick and tired of me bringing it up. And that's okay. Porque yo soy la mejor amiga de ella. Y yo la vida. Así es. A Little Life was one of the ones that I read. It's actually one of my more recent reads. And right now I'm reading Archer's Voice. I like it so far. I think I'm like seven chapters in. It's okay so far. I, have, I, I haven't read much to actually to like give my opinion on it yet. Um, it did grab me. Like the first chapter was very intriguing. I, I do want to find out what happens. I actually have a couple of book TikToks on my account if you want to go see. Only like three honestly. Um, but I might post more because I really do enjoy talking about books. So if you want to talk about books, comment down below because I, I, genuinely, I genuinely, 
I can't speak. I genuinely love books. Like, reading is definitely one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things. I'd rather stay home and read a book than go out. Um, not that I go out anyway, but if I had to pick between the two, then I'd just stay home and read a book. What else have I read? I read Anxious People, and that one, I was... I really did enjoy that one. So I, I would definitely give that one a read if you are interested. I'm not a big fan of how one I blended out. The other one's better, but I feel like that's always how it is. <sighs> Honestly, I went through everything in my list. I have no idea what else to talk about. I mean, I could sit here and talk about books for hours, but I don't know if you guys are into reading like I am. So I really want to go in with this shade from the Fool Fantasy palette between Lunar Beauty x uh, Laura Lee. It's the shade Aries, and I just love like the reflex of purple and blue. So we're going to try it out. Actually, you want to hear something funny? I filmed a review video on this whole collection and did you guys see it <laughs> no because i never posted it it wasn't a good video so i spared you guys from it i also haven't played with makeup in a while like i've done my makeup but i it's only really been like normal natural like simple looks so it's like getting to play with like colors like this again <laughs> i'm so excited i tried thinking about what look i could do today and i was thinking about doing like a dark lip that's all i wanted to do was just a dark lip but because the eyeshadow is already pretty, like, warm, I don't know if I'll do a dark lip, but we'll see. I actually really like how this look is coming out. Y'all, I really don't know what else to talk about. I talked about the shoot. I talked about the last video. I talked about books. Or just that one book. Which, by the way, I will take recommendations down below. I think that's pretty much it, what I wanted to talk about. I don't want this video to be super long like the last video. Which, by the way, what did you guys think of the last video? Because I honestly have no idea. So I'm gonna finish the rest of the makeup off camera because honestly I have nothing else to talk about. So I'm gonna finish my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, so I know I said that I wasn't gonna wear lashes earlier, but this look just required lashes because I ended up loving it. Even though I said that I didn't like how the eyeshadow was blending, but it actually came out really nice. I didn't add highlighter just because the blush that I use is a little bit luminous for me. Um, so I didn't want to overdo it, but I did put some highlight on my nose. By the way, take a shot of how many times I said nose in the last video. Like, it was ridiculous. I was annoyed by myself editing. This is the final look. Not that I was actually doing like a whole tutorial or whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know it was kind of just random and just me talking. Um, not about anything specific, just me just going on and on and on. I don't know. It was fun. I just want to get back in the habit of filming regularly after not filming for so long because I do genuinely love filming and I genuinely love editing and I have fun doing these. I'm just happy I'm picking it back up again. So here's to future videos and hopefully... I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what God's got. <laughs> so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, make sure to like, subscribe, um, go follow me on my social media, everything will be linked down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. You, you guys, I did not expect the last video to be, what did I pay? Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna do a lot today because I'm not even, oop. a disaster over here this has it's week of, it's the week <laughs> i can't speak who thought it was a bra my why did i think it was a good idea for me to go on camera if i can't even form a sentence jesus <laughs> patience i don't have